my brother tells me, you want to go on a biking trip to Spain? I said, yeah, sure. That's it. No more talk about it after that. And next is, three months later in December, he tells me, uh, I think we'll be going to Spain. It sounded so difficult at that time. So I spoke to my transplant surgeon and my nephrologist. Could I go? He says, are you feeling fit to go? I said, yes, then you go. So that's how the whole thing started. And I said, okay, so what people say about it being difficult to live a normal life after surgery was suddenly thrown in the wind. I am playing golf. I'm going to go cycling in six months. I said, let's do it. And let's show the world that it's not so tough being a post-transplant patient if you take care of yourself in terms of your health. My first uh, adventure was to uh, uh, take my brother and my son uh, cycling to Spain because I won a contest sponsored by the Active Holiday Company and uh, Spain Tourism as well. Once the uh, whole plan came together in January, uh, Anil got us cycles to start practicing on. I wasn't the uh, best candidate for that because I hadn't yet got my stamina back. I was still just walking. But I did try my hand slowly to get on a bike and start cycling at least four or five kilometers a day. Though from what I heard from him that our trips would be 40, mile, 40 kilometers a day of cycling, I never even imagined what those 40 kilometers would be once I got to Spain. And taking it lightly, I did just what I could do. Anil, of course, was cycling those days and he was in pretty good shape post his surgery, although he was still suffering from his wound pain. Once we got to Spain, the shock hit us. Those 40 kilometers were all uphill. I yet, with my nephew's support, pulling, pushing, crawling, I would make every day happen. We would reach the end. It was tough. Um, luckily, the atmosphere is so fresh and clean in those parts of the country one didn't have to worry about pollution affecting you and uh, there were no precautions to take there. And it was extremely taxing physically on, on my brother and me and my son, he's only 15, so he had young legs, so he didn't have much of a problem, but it was nice having him around. But I used that and then the media took that up as a story because this was six months after our surgery. The journey and the message got some coverage on uh, Kidney Day, I think March 13th, where NDTV carried some stories. I went to Spain with my uncle and my dad about six months after their um, surgery and that was really inspiring to see both of them uh, six months after fit as a fiddle cycling through Spain like nothing ever happened. That really inspired me a lot. So I figured since I was in the space of uh, communications, media and entertainment, I can also spread the uh, message about organ donation and, and how everybody has the, has the power to gift a life.